How you doing? Nation Blade 87 with part 2 of this Let's Play of Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog 2, excuse me. And I'm in Act 2 with Aquatic Ruin. I like the level in this game, I mean, this, um, I like the music in this level as well. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I'm trying to stick to the high path as much as possible. And that failed. <laughs> You know, it took me the longest time to notice that those title poles had a picture of Eggman's face on it. Speaking of Eggman... Boss fight. This is all you do, pretty much. If you fall down, every time he hits his hammer, he'll, um... Also shoot out those tunnel poles so you can actually use the pink use to climb up. But you should get hit because the boss is painfully easy. And that's it for the boss, and that's it for Aquatic Ruin. I love this victory music. I need to bring this victory music back. Excuse me. Sorry. We are Casino Night, the first casino level in the Sonic series. And it's awesome. That was very innovative at this time. I'm like, wow, I never seen anything like this when I was a kid. He can get one. Wow, I got a jackpot the first try. I'm not gonna go back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing about this level I don't like is so many freaking bumpers. Invincibility. No, I so love. I love the background this level has. More on that later. Just so you know, guys, when I do these bonus stages, I do it in increments. I mean, I don't uh, do it in increments. Like if I mess up, I'll start at the beginning of the bonus stage. Should be kind of legit as possible, even though I'm not doing it legit. <laughs> ninety. So I got ninety. Not bad. 
Oh, that was close. Whoa! Yeah, I always go beginning and end on both the stages. I just save at the beginning of it. Anyways, that's six cast emeralds down. One more to go. <laughs> and to continue on with Casino Night. But as I was saying, the background is awesome. I love the background in this game. Oh shit. I say if you get two or three Eggmans. You um, get that. They take your rings away. That's why I didn't want to go back to the um, when I got the first jackpot. I didn't want to go back to that at night because more than likely you'll get the Eggman icons. Fucking Robotnik. for Casino Night Act 1. I'm pretty sure you guys are noticing the name Miles in, in this level. But it's actually Tails. Yes, so Tails' real name is Miles Per Hour. Miles Per Hour. If you understand the joke, I learned it from another YouTuber. Actually, I never understood. It never caught on to me until another YouTuber mentioned it. I think it was Clement that mentioned it. See, Sonic Miles. Tails, a two-tailed fox that can fly, but you can't fly. You can fly in this game, but sort of in this game. But you really, it, I'll explain this song. Bah, I'll explain it now. What the hell am I doing? And Tails is a two-tailed fox that can fly. It can kind of fly in this game, but it really flies in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Why am I? Damn, I'm not picking up speed there, it's weird. Oh no. But hey, we're going to the final bonus stage. You'll see rings everywhere. <laughs> Literally. Just. Ah, damn it. Ah.
Got it. I am now supersonic. Now Sonic can change into Supersonic. And you're more likely to see that in the stage. been there before. That was a shortcut. That was a piss poor shortcut. I don't think that was a shortcut. And Garcin waiting impatient as usual. Fucker. <laughs> Seeing Super Sonic in this act, but hey, it's all good. This is actually one of the first challenging boss fights for a Robotnik. Just keep doing this, don't even bother using the flippers. The spin dash when you're up and you're leveled with them, just um, hit. Hit the jump button, and you'll jump up and attack him. This boss can be pretty challenging because if you actually get stuck on with the flippers, he can actually go down and hit you. But I put this game in quite a bit, and I've got to beat him pretty easily. Gotta love that background. Yeah, I played this game so much and now uh, I beat the bosses pretty easily, but I can't get past the freaking bonus stages without using a save feature. I know. Ass backwards, but whatever. And now here we are in Hilltop Zone, and I really like this level. I love Hilltop. scheme it has the blue color scheme is I know some of blue I really like the blue color scheme in the background you're up in the clouds the blue and the green it's, it's just awesome and then you have the red lava the match with it Game of here is these um, teeter totters, these seesaws, and you have lifts. Well, it's not really lifts, but little elevators that take you down. And I am now supersonic. And of course, you know, Sonic looks like a Super Saiyan. And I can walk on lava, I could define all physics. However, I can still get crushed and die. I can fall from bottomless pits and die. Like, I can get crushed here and still die. So, see? That was a cheap death, though, honestly. I didn't purposely do that, but that was cheap. <laughs> Ooh. 
It's okay, I still love this level. I've been thinking a lot to use my next LPs after I do this Mario Sonic month. Um, I will be taking care of Silent Hill 2. I'm Jack and Daxter. Um, trying to think what else. Silent Hill 2, Jack and Daxter. Um, I'll eventually we'll get to Mario 2, but not right away. your platforms. Hopefully <laughs> I don't die this time. What a flaw with Super Sonic because he moves so freaking fast. Those two flaws are Super Sonic. One who moves so freaking fast it's hard, hard to control at times. Special precision platforming stages. He just stands there with his arms crossed. I took it. This is supersonic. Oh my gosh. This is embarrassing. I guess that's my karma. <laughs> For kind of being cheap with getting supersonic. Another flaw is when you're supersonic that um, supersonic music starts playing and it isn't it's really repetitive, you know. The theme isn't bad, but it's just repetitive, you know. I think it would be cool if you just listen to the regular stage theme. Alright, the supersonic theme is as bad as it is in um, Sonic Colors. I hate that one. And I love the game, but the supersonic theme for that is horrible. I'm gonna wait patiently. This game must be so freaking picky. Did the theme would go off. Yeah, I got the bottom part. Whoa. And these enemies right here. Damn it! <laughs> Another earth damn it. Another earthquake. Don't get crushed. So this way you have a invincibility. Oh there there does the invincibility looks different here. There's less stars, but the stars are bigger. <laughs> and it's less clustered. I think I noticed too is Sonic is a more darker color than he is in Sonic 1. It's like a darker blue. That could just be me though. Oh crap. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
Huh, you know what? How would you like your ripping today? as a kid. I think it was the music. <laughs> That's what scared the crap out of me, but it's like, oh no. It's to get uneasy vibes in this level. Definitely it's kind of creepy. And first, first time I played this game, I was six years old, so... When my cousin got to this level for the first time, I was like, kind of like, what the hell? See everything all happy-go-lucky, kind of, in a sense. Instead, that thing I forgot to mention Sonic and Jump High Race for Sonic. Let's see, I like Mystic Cave's theme song. I don't want to listen to it, but I can't because I'm Super Sonic, and there's no way you could turn it off. Yeah. When, the moment you have 50 rings and you jump, you're a Super Sonic until you run out of rings. Sun could be a gift, and sometimes it could be a curse. Ah, well, this will beat it. But, um, I forgot what I was about to say. Yeah, so it's a bit scared of crap out of me as a kid. In a sense. But I really like this. Those become one of my favorite levels in the game. But this act right here is Home of the Pit. Act 2. You know what the pit is? Look it up. You'll f I'll tell you. It's, um... This is point in the game where you. This is long. This is long fall. If you miss a bridge, you um. If you miss the bridge, you'll fall down in this big pit with nothing but spikes, and you're pretty much fucked. <laughs> I won't call it bad level design, but the thing that sucks is if you're super sun, there's nothing you can do. You have to wait until Super Sonic runs off and then you die. Another problem is, um... If you're Super Sonic you have like a lot of rings, then you're really fucked. I mean, yeah, it'd have been better with just a bottomless pit, not no spikes, period, but... I don't see the point of putting spikes there if you can't even freaking... ...make it out. It's time for the boss. Uh, 
how this thing is. <laughs> Austin is the son of just defeated Eggman. He didn't have to jump, it was just he just looked so awesome. It was an awesome overload. And that'll do it for part number two, folks. Thank you for part three.